how to send uh, custom attachments with Maxbook Mailer. Um, it is uh, very easy uh, to send the custom attachments uh, with uh, Maxbook Mailer. Uh, it is actually just a matter of uh, setting a few things and uh, to make sure uh, the files we are about to send corresponds to given information in the, in the application and uh, then you should be uh, fine and okay to send the message. So let's uh, see how it works. If you um, launch Maxbook Mailer, the first thing you have to do is to add uh, the attachment you want to send. Um, I have prepared an, an example here in uh, the folder called reports. Uh, there are actually here uh, 10, 10 reports, 10 PDFs, files, uh, we can send uh, to our list uh, one uh, PDF per recipient. So all we have to do is to drag and drop one of the PDF to the attachment uh, panel. Then we will click here on the double arrow. We select up one and then we we'll rewrite the part of the file name that has been removed. In this case, it is a report, and this way we can give a title, a sample message. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have here uh, one attachment that is located in a folder where you can see here there are 11 attachments. Okay, so now uh, if we are going to the recipients uh, panel, we have to um, import our list. Uh, this, uh, um, in this case, we are going to import it from a text file I have prepared. Uh, it is called uh, sample list, uh, sample list with recipients IDs. Now we are going to import uh, the first name, the surname, company, email address, and opt one. In opt one, I have um, pla placed uh, the IDs of each of each recipient. In this case, the company is useless. We are not. Uh, there is no information here. It, does, it doesn't matter if we import it or not. Uh, we import. Uh, we, we set uh, the text encoding uh, to Unicode UTF-8. Because it is the, the encoding I have used when I save the file, and then I import the recipients. Okay, now you can see we have uh, in this list uh, the first name column, the surname column, email address column, and the opt one column with numbers. Those numbers correspond to actually the number you can see here in the in the field names here. You can see the name, are, the number are the same. You are not exactly the same. They are not lined up. But for example, this one corresponds to this one, and this document, this document, since we have the number here, will be sent to this this address. Here is where you can set. Uh, how the tags have to be processed. In this case, uh, each time you send a message, uh, Maxbook Mailer will, as usual, will process any tag you have uh, in your in your message. For example, if if you put here I first name, it will process that, and it will also process uh, the tags that are are inside uh, the attachment names. In this case, opt one will be replaced by the number you have seen uh, here in opt1 that correspond to the number I repeat here in the file name. So if you go to the preview, what you will see is exactly exactly this. Uh, you can see here for um, this first um, uh, address, Adam Johnson, he will receive this document. Then if you go to the second one, you will receive this other document, uh, this other one, this other document, and and so on. So it is important that when you create your document list, 
it is important that the number correspond to the opt one uh, uh, the opt one column you have here. A column in Max Vumele, a column and a tag is almost the same. Uh, when you there are tags that are for dates and for things uh, um, related to the delivery of the message, and there are tags that are clearly um, related to the column names, opt one to opt twenty, first name, surname, company, etc. Um, if you want to um, go a bit further and uh, make sure what your recipient will receive will be uh, correct, what you can do is uh, to uh, switch the delivery to test mode. Then, when you send uh, your message in test mode, you can uh, tell the software um, it is called it is a lablet here and test mode you can uh, tell um, um, Max Vumeller to send uh, we are going to put yeah some uh, text here okay uh, we, we you, you can tell Max Vumeller uh, to send uh, the message to uh, the list uh, in some kind of uh, simulation so it looks like Max Vumeller is sending to you to the, to your real list but you will receive absolutely all emails. Nobody else will receive your, your email. So you can test uh, if what you are sending is correct. I have uh, just selected uh, an account here, a SMTP account uh, in order to send the message. And if I go to the delivery, now if I um, click on send, uh, I will get the, uh, the, um, the test dialog. In the test dialog, what I see here is uh, which, which address I want uh, uh, the emails to send to be sent to. In this case, I want to send to all the recipients in the list. So I select to all. I select to all. It will do a simulation sending to all the people, but I will receive all the message. If I click on send, the message is then sent. All the attachments are being sent, and then we can get uh, um, in, in our mail reader uh, all the sample message with the with the with the correct uh, attachments. In this case, the PDF is uh, is what you see here. It is a it is a sample PDF, uh, PDF with no 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 special information in it, so it doesn't matter what. Uh, what uh, what we are sending okay so here you are if this is how you can send um, custom uh, uh, custom recipients uh, to a list of uh, uh, sorry a custom uh, attachment uh, to uh, a list of uh, recipients using uh, max blue mailer um, in the past uh, that option did not exist. Uh, it, that option was added in version uh, 8.5 or something like that. Uh, before that version, the only way to do that uh, was uh, through uh, was adding all the recipients to the attachment panel and then uh, creating a cl quite complex. Um, here you had to create a quite complex um, 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 statement, uh, conditional statement. So you have to go through uh, ill opt, one, opt field one by one and selecting what uh, attachment has, has to be sent to, that, to each people. So only the correct att attachment was sent to the correct people, but the, um, the conditional statement wa was extremely uh, extremely long and complex because it was one line, one line of, uh, of conditional statement Per uh, recipient, with one hundred recipient, it was a very, very uh, big work to do. Now, with uh, this new system, it is very easy because you have just to add one attachment, use tags inside the attachment name, and then that's it. You can send the message. I hope you like that.